diesel belch, the holiday special that is so completely ordinary, clatters off for the seaside. Glasgow, this big, tough industrial city, empties. Its folk go south to another big industrial city, Newcastle, and its holiday resort, Whitley Bay. And they've gone south to find all the fun of the fair. Some are tootling down here, knowing what they're coming to. They've been holidaying here for 15 or 20 years. Others are swooping down, bursting with ideas about their new holiday. It ought to be thrills and spills, holiday romances, sunshine, sandy beaches, something to shake you out of the old routine. <laughs> They've worked hard and saved up for a break. It ought to be the best two weeks of the year. But what will the fair fortnight actually offer? There'll be plenty of beaches, certainly. Lots for the kids to do. There might even, perhaps, be a welcome change of scene for these refugees from Tesco's. It is, above all, a family holiday. And the children are enjoying it, for sure. But what of mum and dad? What is there for them, apart from the clubs and the pubs, the bingo and the betting shops? Nothing, really, except the happy knowledge that they're 200 miles away from the lathe, the welding torch, or the cleaner's broom. Or, indeed, from the fish counter at Tesco's. As the week wears on, will they break out in bikinis, the beach is wondering? Like Stanley Holloway's Blackpool, Whitley Bay is famous for fresh air and fun. Unfortunately, there are some days when the fresh air can blow you off the prom. But Whitley Bay has the answer. And this is the Bennetts playing in it. The new indoor leisure pool. This is the glamorous, suntanned version of what we used to call the baths. It's a bright plastic palace with artificial waves, pretend rocks and polythene palms. And lots of genuine fun. The families loved it. It did, after all, sport a lifeguard and a sense of security. Far safer than the real thing. But then, who needs the real thing when you can substitute something reassuringly artificial for it? But during this long, hot summer of 76, Whitley Bay didn't need an indoors. People like the Wallaces from Mount Florida in Glasgow could take their chance to get out and about. Bert and Helen Wallace took the kids fishing near the mouth of the Tyne. They came on holiday with Helen's sister Margaret and her two boys. Having driven down from Glasgow, they're determined to explore the northeast of England on this, their first visit. Oh, boys! <laughs> Lovely! Oh, that was... And that was... That's not with the Well, I don't know that you... That's very good size. That's a good size, isn't it?
Just like the industrial west of Scotland, the northeast is clubland, a place for steady, contemplative drinking. A clubman on holiday is not a holiday maker, but simply an affiliated member of a new club. And these are clubmen, right down to the fingertips that curl round their straight glasses. Their fortnight will be spent at this club in colour coats. Some of them have been coming here for the last 16 years. This year, someone has actually spotted the weather above the frosted glass. Oh, the weather's been terrific, you know. I think this has been the dullest day for pants as we come down. You've been forced into the club to have a drink, have you? Oh, well, nay. When you're forced. You're lying down the beach getting a dry duck, you must come up to the French. <laughs> What, uh, what brings you to Whitley Bay? What brings you back? Uh, well, to I don't know. No, we come, no? we come twice a year. We come in July and then we come in September. We just like the place and we like the people. I think that's a great beach for a family. You don't see anyone, any kids are in. I mean, it's a safe beach. You can all raise your pint and end you want. If you're a young family, you can ask for a better place. Of course, you know a lot about club life from uh, from up north and yes. the Fairfield working men's stuff. How does it compare down here, the club life? Club life's good down here, but this is, I think the biggest problem here at the Fairfield is keeping people out. No, like the minute. It's too small for me in this. The weekend, this place is packed. How do you get on with the Geordies? Great. Okay, they're no, they're the people, people are nice. The, the people are very nice, you must say that. There's a lot of good friends. Oh. Do you feel, um, very close to them. I mean, you, you feel you know the, the way they live and the way they well, live. Well, if you come down here that often, the people there have met for the last 16 or 17 years. And a lot of old people, some have gone and some are still here. And, you know, you always inquire who they are and everything. In North Shields, the fishing trip has ended in disaster. The one fish they caught fell off the hook. But Margaret and Helen have come across the fish key a rare scene of local colour that only the explorers will find. You get the feeling that the Wallaces have enough initiative to discover a good holiday in Wigan, never mind the gentler delights of the time. And then for the amateur anglers in the family, a glimpse of what might have been. If only they'd actually caught that fish. <laughs> The holiday makers are settling in. But what about the workers, the fair fortnight landladies? 